Hi and welcome to another video tutorial by Jessica. Um, if you don't hear me very well right now it could be that you hear thunder in the background because we're having a thunderstorm here. But I wanted to really quickly explain um, a tool that is super helpful for a lot of things. And this is the clipping mask here. So first let me show you something. I'm going to draw <coughs> like a really squiggly line and everything here nothing specific and now imagine you want to color parts of this differently <coughs> and um, the way you used to have to do that is by really painstakingly follow the trace again which is a pain in the neck I tell you because you're really having trouble and then you have to go back and you have to correct this and this really is annoying so clipping masks will help you with that um, you make one with a new layer on top here and then you can either click your alt key and go between the lines here until you see the cursor changed and click and then you have a clipping mask or you go to the new layer right click create clipping mask the same in the end but there are two ways to do it depending on how your motor skills are and then when you paint on this layer you can paint however you like and it only affects the part beneath you see is that and there it is colored if you unclip it again you see that I painted really awfully here but it doesn't matter as long as you kept the clipping mask it only affects the part that is beneath so let me do this, take another color and you can see it works with several layers on top of it. Now if you make a new layer here and paint something else, make you have to make a new clipping mask because it only affects the layers that the clipping masks are clipped to. So if you paint here now, it doesn't do anything because it's not affecting the layer down here but the layer up here where it's clipped to. And that's all the magic. And I hope that helped. And I'll see you next time. Stay creative.